the two user modes have been laid out to work with certain areas of live, but are essentially for you to free assign as you like. User 1 can be used to play drum racks by putting the MIDI track into record, after which the buttons in the matrix correspond to those in the drum rack. User 2 provides a way of accessing Max for Live presets, but like User 1, it can be freely assigned in any way you want. So you could use it to control the parameters of one or more devices, such as this filter here. Just activate MIDI Learn, then click on the area of the software, followed by a button on the hardware to assign. To assign a continuous control to a row of buttons, just hold down the first button and then press the last one. See how quickly and easily parameters can be assigned. Both session and mixer modes can also be reassigned using MIDI Learn to override the preset controls. And, like with user modes, these assignments only apply to an individual live session and not the controller globally. This means you could change the reset buttons at the top of the mixer matrix to kill switches on an EQ3 on each track. While the row of stop clip buttons could be mapped to the crossfader for a more DJ friendly setup. To deactivate any of Launchpad's controls, just assign them to a parameter on a device that's turned off. Now, the stop all clip button has no effect 